Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and I'm happy to be right here to actually to actually show you what I think is one of the uh, most looked forward uh, deck lists or to be completely honest, I think I am the one that was uh, actually looking forward to this uh, the most. Um, so as you may have seen from the thumbnail, I'm talking about uh, engine gear uh, and let me start saying that this will not be the only version that I'm about to bring on the channel this is just the first one uh, I wanted to be clear with this just because I know a lot of you will be uh, disappointed because unfortunately this deck list features uh, the engine gear reactor dragon there is actually a card that comes from the um, the structure deck, so I know a lot of you uh, didn't actually use money to uh, buy the other two copies, so I'm aware of that, and of course, uh, during the next days, uh, I don't know if next week, uh, but a version with uh, the other skill, a Battle Ancient Gear, will come for sure, don't be afraid. Uh, so before jumping right into it guys, just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So of course, I'm here with um, The big boy the professor uh, Dr. Crawler and This is the deck list pretty clean really simple and I'm gonna explain you uh, of course wh why the deck has become more powerful more consistent and generally speaking better so uh, we have the skill of middle age max now a quick refresh for all of you who do not remember what it does basically you begin the duel with uh, the ancient gear castle continuous spell card on the field this is pretty good because um, every normal summon um, and this is counted even for your opponent's some normal summon you get to have a counter on that continuous spell card and when he has basically two or more you can tribute summon your uh, reactor dragon just by sending that spell card to the graveyard instead of tributing actually monsters but why now that can be even better because he combines with the ancient gear catapult this is a, the brand new card that we've got from the latest box uh, what it does uh, while well, you control no monsters, you can target an office up card you control, you destroy it and if you do, you can special summon one engine gear monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning condition, that's pretty cool, so you could potentially, of course, summon an in engine gear a golem from your deck, but we are not playing it right now, so this is not the case. Also, it has an additional fact, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one face up card you control, destroy it, and if you do, special summon one ancient gear token. Now, you can only use one effect per turn, and let me start saying that, guys, I was wrong. During the review of the box, and I think even during uh, the pack opening, I said to you that uh, this would have actually made the gear town miss the timing, and that he could have actually been combined only with the engine gear fortress. Well, I was wrong, because the if you do makes so that um, this is not actually uh, in, in, the destruction is not a cast because the cast of the card is just the you know the targeting so targeting is a cast but destroy and if you do special summon are two things that happen simultaneously so this means that gear town does not miss the timing and that's why this thing becomes crazy and makes this deck so good so now that I told you that, of course, you can imagine what is what is all about, of course, because if you have a gear town and your engine gear catapult, you can basically have access to two engine gear monsters, both from your deck. So you can special summon a couple of engine gear reactor dragon if you're going for lethal, as you will see in replays, or you can just summon, for example, a wyvern to search something, or you can uh, directly summon your hunting gown to go directly into your engine gear howitzer or the new card Megaton Golem. So that's it that's the insane combo of course this combines pretty good with the fortress as well because if you pop the fortress you can special summon an ancient gear monster either from your end or from your graveyard even good of course it is good as well and so 
the deck is pretty easy then we have the treacherous to end this just you know because we uh, we are not playing any trap cards so why not using a treacherous to steal games uh, a couple of inch and get you after dragon are enough uh, I think are enough I think one more could be a little bit uh, breaky so that's why I just used two uh, then triple ancient gear and hunting hound because this is actually your uh, turn one or oh, you can be actually alone with another ancient gear monster in your hand at turn one because it can make you uh, go into an awitzer that we know how good it is as a turn one play then the triple wyvern because unfortunately guys it is the only surgeon and it is a good and then the double pathfinder just to uh, tribute and add the gear town so this uh, combines very well with the uh, catapult just because the catapult to be activated needs you to control no monsters and pathfinder to look for your gear town actually tribute itself so it makes it actually it leaves you with no monsters on the field and so what's the, the the you know the bear what i what are we actually getting advantage from uh, to say that this has become better with this card so basically what this card does it, it does two things it makes the second turn so um if you go second it makes it even stronger because you can just bring out a couple of ancient gear vector dragon from nowhere and be able to destroy your opponent as you will see in replays and also it makes a your turn one your turn one more consistent why because if you have this card and it's your turn one with the same combo you can just summon in hunting gown and in ancient gear wyvern that lets you have an ancient gear monster to your hand and at that point with the hunting gown on the field you can decide to whether go into an awitzer that as I, as we already mentioned is a very good turn one or you can actually go into a megaton as well and megaton is pretty good because if he leaves the field face up because of an opponent's card effect you can special summon an ultimate ancient gear golem from your extra deck ignoring its summoning condition that's why we play only one and it's here but i really actually happen to use it a couple of times but not not in a defensive purpose um so of course 99 percent of the times if you if it's your turn one you are always gonna go into your how it's that it's just safer in my opinion uh, and that's the, the reason why because now he makes him, this card made more consistent both the plays so the turn one and the turn two and and he makes actually the the turn two even stronger uh, like there was a need to do this and uh, last but not least guys we have a couple of um, um, Xyz monster of course we have the diamond die wolf and the malevolent scene uh, it is actually a, a, a thing actually to have it's a useful thing to have just because of course thanks to this card that you can happen to summon your guys your monsters more frequently so you're actually gonna find a lot of situation when you have a couple of level four that's why you have these guys as you will see in the replays as well and also this guy is here just because it's so easy to summon a, a couple of ancient gear reactor dragon that sometimes you maybe you could need a direct attack with Dyson Sphere, so why not taking advantage from this? And that's why it is in our um, actual but of course this is not mandatory at all. Um, I also happen to uh, realize that with, East, with this deck, one Howitzer could be fine, so if you only have one it's fine, as well as one Megaton Golem, so don't bother if you do not have the double copies. Uh, and guys, that's it. Stay tuned for the replays because we're talking about some crazy stuff. Really, guys, really great stuff. And we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First replay. Let me actually start saying that I used this deck to climb from legend rank, from platinum rank six all the way to legend rank one. So these are actually duels that are taken from the uh, platinum rank six and seven. Uh, so there you go. First one against Pegasus. It's us to go first. As you can see right there, we had no uh, gear sound, so we had to use the fortress instead. That works pretty fine. So to grab the hunting gown, using the effect of fortress to summon the um, uh, wyvern to grab another fortress to our hand and I used that I used this the hunting on the fact to go directly into howitzer first turn we are dealing some damage and we get to go he's got the uh, 
um, uh, the Chakalai Magician card, you know, not a good defense against uh, Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon, and so he's gonna see it coming, you know. So at this point, I would use effect to deal some damage, then the effect of the Catapult from the Graveyard to pop this, and summon the token, and then use the effect of Fortress to summon the Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon from my hand. Put this in attack position. I was about to treat with the the how it said the token for the second ancient gear reactor dragon, but it just scooped. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. Second duel, my boys, the top tier deck. Solomon Great, Rise from the Valley of Flames. It's him to go first. Uh, it's got the Solomon Great Circle and to grab the Foxy. We can speed things up. This is gonna be this is gonna take some time, so we can just go uh Faster. It's got the Balanix, of course, with the Gazelle. So uh, it's got the full combo with the Sanctuary had it to his end. Uh, of course, falls as a special summon. There you go. The Roar to the Graveyard. Of course, it's gonna come back on the field. Sanctuary to use the effect of Sunlight Wolf. The Roar is back to his end. Then he just set it and he handed the turn. It's us to go with the Ancient Gear Castle to begin with. Then the um, even if we already had the Geared Sound, I wanted to uh, trick him and actually make him activate this and I was actually I managed to do it roar to stop this but we do not care we can just use the gear sound in our hand then catapult and this is this is coming at him so um, hardly actually um, it's such a punishment look at that double ancient gear reactor dragon at this one we can just attack um, popping the uh, the sanctuary, use the balance, but we don't care about that, and we are chilling because now at this point we have also the treacherous, so there's nothing we fear. It's got the check check. We're using the effect of the foxy to special summon hit and make this be this be popped, but at this point it just treacherous him out, and it's got nothing more to do. The pathfinder to have e uh, to add even another gear sound. Look at that! I can just go for a little. There is no hand trap that can resist against my reactor dragon that's how you do it my boys there you go here we go my boys this was my third win in a row and guess what it's time to mirror match but this was a battle ancient gear i guess so it's got the hunting gun to begin with uh using the effect to deal me some damage and then there you go into how it's i i guess it was in a, a battle ancient gear deck list because he had the ancient gear golem of course so it's got the avatar to deal me uh even some damage but guess what in the mirror match this deck list is just so good look at this uh middle age max we have the full combo so we can just pop the gear ton with the catapult summon the first engine gear reactor dragon then gear town to summon a wyvern to grab another fortress i mean it was not even needed we had everything then we started to attack wyvern because now when a wyvern attacks he can't activate monsters effect so the effect of our does not come out a first attack with the engine gear reactor dragon popping our own fortress to summon the other one for the hand there's no defense that can actually survive to this tornado that's how you do it my boys there you go third win in a row again another Solomon great uh, let's see it right from the Valley of Flames of course but this time he's us to go first and we have a pretty good hand so we got the geared sound as you can see right there the catapult but this time of course we're going to summon first in hunting ground and then a second a wyvern to grab a monster to our hand there you go we had the reactive dragon and here i make the mistakes because before using this combo i should have set the fortress as a bluff in order that to trigger my opponents to pop it and so that i actually could have taken advantage from its own effect when it's destroyed keep in mind that if you're playing to some of the wyvern remember to set your cards first so i went directly into howitzer as you can see right there and i at this point i inflict some damage and i decided to play one just in case um, just in case, you know, just to protect the monster that I can summon with the howitzer during his turn. But he decided to begin with the typhoon, popping my fortress anyway. So there you go, the reactor dragon is back on the field. And he's got the Salaman Great Sequel to look for his gazelle. Uh, Falco to begin as a normal summon, link summon into Balanix. Let's speed the things up. So Balanix and Falco again with the effect, with the gazelle adding the sanctuary to his end and setting the circle then uh, um, sending the uh, 
the Jack Jack or to the graveyard. Uh, as you can see right there, you can now summon him. Now that he controls the Sunlight Wolf, he added the Gazelle. And then at this point, he went for Hit Leo, making the castle come back to uh, the deck. That's fine. Then a reincarnation summon with Hit Leo once again. But actually, the only one that he can take out, he actually can take out these guys. He decided to go for the Howitzer. That's fine. I. Um, brought out another wyvern. Why? Because now I have two, two um, uh, level four. I can also grab an hunting gown. So I decided to go first with my diamond direwolf to pop one of his back rows. He went for circle and he made me actually made my life easier. So I could pop the other one. He used the card the enemy controller on my direwolf, but it was useless. And at this point, I can just summon my pathfinder, grab a gear ton. And this was actually one of those cases where I felt that the third ancient actually third ancient gear reactor dragon would have been lethal but i didn't have it so this was one of the cases when you think oh maybe it's better to play tree but i'm not sure about that so reactor dragon to begin with attacking using the effect to pop the gear town summoning summoning the other one from the deck attacking once again to pop the uh the field spell and not my own fortress because there i had no i have no monsters uh, that can actually deal him um uh, the remaining life points that was actually the bad thing so um, jack jaguar again so this actually this wasn't expected because i was sure of winning at this point but everything turns out to be completely different so he's got dark rebel and etc and i mean i i i thought oh I can't say yet. So, uh, oh damn, this, this is gonna be hard. So, uh, there you go, he's got the balling straight away. Jack Jagger, Jack Jagger once again from the graveyard. So, the, the Sunlight Wolf is coming back. And look at that, he's got the, uh, the Dark Rebellion to pop the bigger one, and then the Sunlight Wolf to pop the other one. But now, guys, I'm gonna do the best play ever, the best anime, the anime play ever. So, uh, look at this, we've got the uh, cut up from the graveyard to pop the fortress so that I summon a token and then the effect of fortress to summon a wyvern from the graveyard. Wyvern let me add another ancient gear castle to have the boost that we need. So castle for the boost once again, normal summon the uh, hunting gowns to um, uh, actually inflict him 300 damage that don't forget this but this is actually our exactly lethal so this was needed then hunting out to use all three monsters into megaton golem that is 3300 but with the boost of castle is 36 and look at this this is exactly lethal <laughs> that's how you do it my boys there you freaking go so guys that was all for today's videos i hope you enjoyed this ancient gear coming back to meta video uh let me know what you think in the comment section down below of course guys as i as I already told you at the beginning of the video few um, more version are about to come so uh, uh don't worry guys that was all for today's videos uh today's video thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one Thank you.